that this year's Academy Awards have been handed out, let's talk about future Oscar contenders. Yeah, that's right. Some of them are learning their craft at the University of Utah on a rather unique film set, thanks to a two-of-a-kind teachers. Peter Rosen reports. At the University of Utah, in a stairwell, something's going on. Something scary and mysterious from the imaginations of assistant professors and sisters, Miriam and Sonia Albert Sabrino, who themselves are a mystery. We even wear the same eyeglasses. Namely, who's who? We make it harder in purpose. Yeah. We even got the same tattoos. Salvador Dali tattoos. Alfred Hitchcock has a thing called Spellbound. So Spellbound has this eye in the dream sequence. For the record, this is Miriam and Sonia. They grew up in Galicia, Spain, to be best friends. From very early age, we were like, you know, very tight and very uh, encouraged to be that way. Best friends, nurses, and horror fans who only dreamed of making their own movies. Sonia, I would always say, no, but you gotta be the daughter of Spielberg. And then we'll be the like, son, the son. then the she'll be like, no, you gotta be the son of Spielberg. Until they went to film school and became a filmmaking duo, billed as. We name ourselves with the initials SM. We quickly realized that that's not a good idea. For well, uh, so you're filmmakers, yeah. Also sisters. And you're also sisters. Because they are. What if we do a film in which a woman wakes up with her head encased on cement? Oh! An early success made during a pandemic lockdown cemented their path into the horror genre. I want to go back to that feeling that I used to have. Oh my God, the jump is scared. Because I just not They came to Utah in 2012 first to study, then to teach. There was a lot of growth and there was a lot of space for us to explore. This is the equipment room. We have animation stations here. Within a growing film program. Uh, the color grading station. This will be a state-of-the-art projection. Virtual production set. Using a learn-by-doing approach. A minute-long class project. The students could serve as actors. They could serve as uh, camera operators, uh, lighting. Ended up on the Shutter streaming service. <laughs> that stairwell scare? is a feature-length class project called The Stairwell. This is The Stairwell. Every time we're walking here, we will notice a crack. Which grew out of a crack that they imagined coming to life. Okay, so you're gonna come out of these stairs. Shot in and around a stairwell and crewed by students. Let's see what it looks like, but you can control First it. assistant director. Basically, I'm running the set. Stas Kovalov. I'm a little nervous. She says one, okay. one, one. Sonia gave up her usual job as camera operator. So she got, comes running. To student <laughs> Lucas Adria. That's gotta be hard for you to give up. A little bit. She says she just compensates by micromanaging. So we want your, you know, your body Maybe you're looking like for the longest time we've been wanting to bridge the gap between academia and the industry, the local industry. How can we bring the collaborative nature that you find on set so easily on the classroom? Okay, so let's do that. Can you tell them apart? Yeah, I will say yes because <laughs> I have to. Stas solved the sister mystery. One of the sisters has silver uh, Apple watch band and one of them has a gold one. Okay, of course, more than watch bands sets them apart as individuals. Ready and Action. But their enthusiasm is identical. They spread this energy to everybody in the crew, which helps us a lot. Enthusiasm for making movies, even in a stairwell. Peter Rosen, KSL 5 News. Well, the university's film program, which now has 700 students, is upgrading the facilities there to include a high-tech LED wall so the students can shoot with virtual sets. <laughs>